Russ, aka Russell Vitale, is an American rapper, singer, and producer from Secaucus, New Jersey. Russ started rapping when he was seven years old, but he didn't record his first song until he turned 18. He cited his main musical influences as being Eminem and 50 Cent. Russ was producing for about six years before he tried recording himself, and eventually grew a significant following between 2011 and 2014 by releasing one song per week on SoundCloud. In 2016, Russ partnered with Columbia Records, and in 2017, he dropped his first Columbia Studio album, entitled There's Really a Wolf, which debuted at number seven on the Billboard 200. One year later, it was certified as platinum. In September of 2018, Russ released his second Columbia Studio album, entitled Zoo, which debuted at number four on the Billboard 200. A lot of people seem to hate on Russ. I think the dislike for him stems from the fact that he comes off as extremely cocky and opinionated. However, I think that Russ is very talented, and I respect the fact that he stands by what he believes in, even if I strongly disagree with his positions. Let's get into the cookup. I'm going to start off with this guitar patch in Omnisphere, layered with the fingerstyle acoustic guitar effects, to give it a more authentic feel. I'll be laying down a melody in E flat minor. I'll speed up the footage here to save time. Here's what I came up with. Skillshare reached out to sponsor this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creators with more than 25,000 classes in areas such as music production, graphic design, video editing, and more. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that fit with your interests and personal or professional goals. Whether you're looking to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving throughout 2019. I've been checking out some courses by Young Guru, a Grammy-nominated audio engineer, in order to learn how to step up the quality of my own music through a better understanding of audio physics, microphone choice, and how to set up a proper recording space to ensure the best possible quality is achieved. Skillshare is also super affordable. An annual subscription costs less than $10 per month. Join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. In the interest of transparency, Skillshare gave me a few free months of a Skillshare Premium membership, and the first 500 people who sign up via the link in the description will also receive a free two-month Premium membership as well. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now it's time to get back into the cookup. I'm going to add some strumming to any notes that play simultaneously, and I'll also adjust the velocity of whatever notes I feel like need adjusting. Here's what the melody sounds like now. added some effects. First I applied an EQ with a low cut at 171 hertz, a boost at 351 hertz, a boost around 650 hertz, and a boost at 3.2 kilohertz. Next I added this guitar rig preset. I threw some reverb on there. I added this exciter to give a bit more saturation to the guitar. And lastly, I added an imager to widen up the sound a bit. Here's what the guitar melody sounds like with effects added. up this custom flute preset and I laid down this melody. I laid down a snare. I layered this hat with this other hat. And I made this hat pattern. I laid down a kick. I made this 808 pattern.
and on every other instance of the guitar pattern, I'm going to add a chop so that it sounds a bit like a sample. I added this gate at the beginning of the guitar signal chain. I'm going to automate it on when the guitar chop starts. This will reinforce that sample type vibe. what the drums sound like all together. Now it's time to write some lyrics. Russ's lyrics focus on mentioning that you mix, master, and produce, calling out rappers for a glorifying addiction, and make sure to mention your haters. And just a disclaimer, I'm not attempting to do an outright impression of Russ. My vocal performances aren't as polished as his, and I can't sing very well either. The purpose of the vocal section is just meant to serve as a rough approximation of an artist's style, not an exact replication. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. <laughs> 